Now, we want to do question number three, part B, and we want to expand 1 minus uh, 2x raised to power uh, 1 over 3. And uh, to expand this such, such a kind of uh, binomial expression, it is not possible to do it using uh, Pascal triangle. So we can use binomial theorem or a binomial series. And first, let us look at a general expansion uh, using binomial series. So if we have uh, like uh, this expansion, 1 plus x, and we want to expand this expression, we want to raise it to power n, where n is any real number, be it a fraction or even a negative number. Um, but need, we need to consider that uh, for it to uh, be expanded uh, using any real number, we expect the value of x uh, should range between uh, 1 and uh, uh, negative 1. And that is the only time this expansion uh, can be uh, correct. Now a general expansion, 1 plus x raised to power n, uh, what are we going to get? The first term for the, uh, this expansion is 1. The second term is n multiplied by x. The third term of this expansion is n multiply by n minus 1 over 2 factorial multiply by x squared. The third term is uh, n multiply by n minus 1 multiply by n minus 2 uh, multiply by x to power 3 over uh, 3 factorial. This expansion you can go with it to any um, term we, you want to expand it to. For example, you want if you want to expand up to like let's say 50 term or the next term here, it will be n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, multiplied by n minus 3, multiplied by x to power 4 over 4 factorial. So you can be able to expand to whatever term you want. But in this particular problem, we want to expand up to the fourth term. In this expansion, this is the first term, the second term of the expansion, the third term, and the fourth term. And that's what we are required uh, to do in this problem. So, um, let us now uh, move. In our uh, expansion, uh, negative 2x, in this general expansion, it is equivalent to x. And uh, uh, in our 1 over 3, in our question, is equivalent to n in the general expansion. If that is the case, uh, then uh, 1 minus 2x raised to power 1 over 3. If we want to expand this, therefore, the first term becomes 1. The second term becomes 1 over 3, that is our n, multiplied by x. Our x is, in this case is 2x. And the third term is uh, uh, n is uh, 1 over 3. Uh, multiply by n minus 1, that is 1 over 3 minus 1, that is negative 2 over 3, multiply by x, our x is negative 2x in our, our problem, raised to power 2, all that over uh, 2 factorial. Our fourth term is equal to n is 1 over 3, uh, then multiply by n minus 1. 1 over 3 minus 1 is uh, negative 2 over 3. Multiply by n minus 2. That is 1 third minus 2. It is negative 2 over 3. Uh, multiply by x cubed. Our x is negative 2x. So it is negative 2x raised to power 3. All that over uh, 3 factorial. And uh, if we want the fourth term again, 
we can get, but we want, I don't know, the 50 term. But in this case, we are required to go up to, uh, to the fourth term. The first term is 1. Uh, the second term is minus, this is negative 2x multiplied by 1 over 3, it is minus 2 over 3 uh, x. The fourth term is uh, negative 2 over 3 times 2x squared. It becomes 4 over 9x uh, squared. That is the third term. Now we go to our fourth term. Uh, negative 2x cubed. So it is negative 2x times negative 2x times negative 2x. So the final answer uh, will be negative. So negative times negative, you get positive. Positive times negative, you get uh, negative. So the final answer here will be negative. Here it should be uh, 5 over 3 multiply by negative 5 over 3 or rather if you compute it it becomes uh, 40 over 81 x cubed because uh, uh, 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 and uh, 2 factorial this is supposed to be 2 times 1 uh, which becomes uh, 2. So if you compute this one now, you find the fact that uh, the answer should be 1, uh, the first term is 1, the second term is negative 2 over 3x, the third term is uh, 4 over 9x squared, the fourth term is 40 over 81x cubed. So uh, finally, now we get all the four terms in that uh, binomial expansion. But remember that for this to be uh, a correct expansion, we have said that the value of x should be, the value of x uh, should range between uh, 1 and uh, uh, negative 1. And that is the only time this expansion uh, can be uh, correct.